Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, please consider subscribing. My name's Fern. I'm going to be going over the X5 U4 R2 wireless in-ear system. These are mandatory, and if your band doesn't play with in-ears, then you're f***. You need to get on something like this ASAP. I'm going to be going over and reviewing this system and what I think of it after a month of real-world experience. So the X5 unit comes in this really nice box. Comes with one transmitter, two wireless packs. So it's great for like a drummer and a guitarist, or if you're a drummer and you're wired like I am a lot of the time, you can now give two packs to your band and they can now hear the same thing that you're hearing. So click track, backing track, whatever. There is a couple routing options for this. You have an XLR output on your board. You can just plug this straight in. Or if you need this adapter like I did and you wanna just plug it into a headphone output, this is a great handy little adapter that they include as well five hours of battery life, all rechargeable. They've got a 90 foot range on the wireless transmitter, more on that later, and five milliseconds of latency, which is basically nothing, to be honest. I'm usually a stickler for trying to minimize latency, especially in recording sessions and things like that, where tightness matters and any noticeable delay from your performance coming back at you can be kind of tough to deal with, so five milliseconds is pretty solid. It has six different channels in which it can operate at so if you're using multiple of these transmitters you can assign one to each to further add more wireless packs but i think this one transmitter will support four wireless packs so i've had these units for about a month now i really wanted to put them through their paces before putting this video out i've used them just routing audio to myself i've used these for clients of mine that way when i'm filming for them we can both hear it, uh, the song and the cues all at once and i also recently used this in a band setting with two other guitarists and it made so much easier made the first time we were playing through these tracks so much tighter and realistically if you're a musician or if you're in a band and you take your music seriously if you're not on in-ears you're doing yourself a huge disservice just because of the ability to self-monitor and hear yourself uh, regardless of the setting and also be able to hear your bandmates which is a huge importance you know especially in the world of live music and systems like this make it very affordable and easy to get into that market so in my own experience i have nothing but good things to say about these being a studio owner and doing all of the things that i do music wise my life is full of cables and every step that i can do to hide cables or minimize the amount of cables that i have going on is tremendous build quality wise of these units is pretty sturdy i'm not gonna lie i've dropped these things quite a few times <laughs> and uh, they're still kicking uh, it also looks really nice as well i really dig how small and low profile these things are the guitarist Blake Webb that I had in for like a band rehearsal session, he commented on how much he loved the sturdiness of this and how when it was clipped onto his belt loop or guitar strap, there was no getting it off. So you don't have to worry about it coming loose or getting away from you on stage. My guitarist Aru from my band Lines at the Gate, he actually bought one of the single unit systems right before we went on tour and used it for three weeks in a professional setting. The only annoyance that he had was the charging every day, but you have to do that with any wireless system at that level. And also, if his transmitter was on one side of the stage and he decided to walk all the way to the other side, he would sometimes experience wireless issues, so signal cutting out and things like that. But once he got back to where his unit was, he didn't have any of those problems. And he thoroughly enjoyed it. When you play at multiple venues over the course of your career, a lot of them are going to be hit and miss. So taking the steps to minimize those occurrences and really make sure that you're playing at the top of your game and with a consistent feed every single night just really helps out and also saves your ears. I mean, as musicians, our ears are almost as valuable as our hands and the tools that we use to make music. And also, you're not protecting the longevity of your music career. If you value your hearing and music, then you want to be able to do this for as long as possible. I've been playing music live since I was 14, and having a system like this is something that I would have killed for back then. You could easily spend multiple thousands of dollars trying to get your band on a wireless system, so this makes a very affordable and attractive like wireless in-ear option in a much more realistic budget for most bands, I think. And I think it does a stellar job at that. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you think of this system if you've used it yourself, or is this something that you would pick up in the future? Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more gear reviews on things like this or the things that I use. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out a ton and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Mwah.